Uh, the book is structured in four parts. The first part is an overview, and that's an, an intro into business ethics and the terminology of business ethics. The second part of the book is where we go into more discipline-specific business issues. The third part of the book is on ethical theory and analysis. So it's not just the theory in this section, we're also looking at ethical decision-making and how a person can find a voice once they've gone through a process of evaluating an ethical issue or an ethical dilemma, coming to a decision, how can they actually articulate that decision in the face of what can sometimes be considerable pressures. The last section of the textbook is about building ethical climates in organisations and it's written from a perspective of both a manager or a supervisor who is wanting to develop an ethical climate within their domain and what are some of the strategies that they can use to build an ethical environment. Uh, each chapter starts off with uh, a quote um, that can be used. The chapter aim and then the chapter objectives. And the chapter objectives could be used as learning outcomes if you're wanting to build it into a matrix for assessment purposes. Within the website there is a selection, a large selection of uh, material that can be put together for uh, assessment. For those people that are using the textbook, uh, the tutors obviously can find in the website are the PowerPoint presentations for each one of the chapters. I've also got a section there that's called Ethics on Reflection and at periodic intervals throughout a chapter a question is posed where hopefully an individual will reflect and they'll hopefully come up with some insight into their own positioning or thoughts in relation to the discussion. At the end of each chapter, there are some ethic videos or, or references to ethics videos and ethics at the movies. So this provides the opportunity for people to pursue the topic areas within the chapter, but using uh, podcasts or vignettes or stories in video form. So there's a lot of material, additional material on the website. And I am rather hoping that as people adopt the textbook, that a community of users will be encouraged to engage with the website to perhaps create a blog that material can be added, current examples, case studies, experiential exercises. So hopefully that community of users can start to maintain the contemporary element by adding additional material that you come across. Thanks very much.